I'm Josh with Hunter Engineering. Today we're in Elkhart, Indiana at G-Diamond Transport and we're going to cover a uh, quick calibration on the Hunter Force Match Balancer. So on the monitor here we have our post coming down. On the back side of the post we have our calibration weight. Just a little four ounce weight. To be able to go through it we're going to hit our uh, green arrow buttons. It's going to drop us down to one level. Right now we're on our top level. We're going to come into calibrate here, K1. All right, you notice right now we have balancer highlighted, and it shows us that we need our weight here. Uh, the inner data center arm, this arm here, or to show you on the balancer, it's actually this arm, this arm right here. Uh, we could come to the outer data set arm, which is the silver arm on the side of the hood. Okay, or we could come to our load roller. You see the yellow back here, our load roller here. Uh, the load roller, outer data set arm, and inner data set arm all need this special tool, uh, which your hunter service rep would have. For right now, you don't need any special tools whatsoever for the actual balancer itself. So we're going to scroll up to the top and hit begin procedure. So all we're doing is watching the picture here and following exactly how it shows. Nothing at all attached to it. Make sure your spindle has no cones on it or anything, no adapters, that your spindle is completely bare. We're going to go ahead and lower your hood. Press start. So first right now the balancer is going, it's checking the readings for it to see what it has, uh, what the uh, balancer is showing with no weights on it whatsoever. Here in a second I'll stop and I'll tell us to put our uh, weight on the hub. Here we go. See how it shows the weight on the inner side of the hub. We're also going to tell it where the 12 o'clock position is. So our hammerhead laser comes out and we're showing a laser at 12 o'clock. We're going to in install our weight. Roll it up to 12 o'clock. We're going to enter the 12 o'clock position here. Very important. This could uh, help us from preventing from chasing weights at all or anything like that. So very, very important to be able to do. So now it knows it's 12 o'clock position. Lower it down. Press start. So now we're calibrating uh, the inner uh, B, the left side, whatever you want to call it. So we're calibrating it for what a four ounce weight would be. Okay, so on our next one, it shows we're moving our weight from our left side of the hub to the right side of the hub. Also, when I raise the hood right here, it should stop at 12 o'clock position. So it's going to help us check to make sure it's servoing correctly, which it is. It stopped at 12 o'clock, so our servo is working correctly as well. I'm going to lower the hood one more time. We're going to go ahead and press start just like how the pictures are showing. So a big reason why you'd want to check calibration or perform calibration, uh, if you seem to be chasing weights, maybe the 12 o'clock position could be off, uh, maybe the weight itself could be off of the balancer, maybe there could be wheel weights underneath the balancer, maybe it's not sitting on level ground. But the number one thing that I see that always knocks balancers out of calibration, guys aren't using the wheel lift. Uh, so they'll go to take that wheel and tire assembly off and when it comes off of the cone, it just smashes down on the shaft itself and it can repeat at times of that, could knock the balancer out of calibration. So the wheel lift is very important. It saves your back and it helps keep the balancer in calibration as well. So now we went ahead, calibration is complete. We're going to raise the hood, take our weight off. Possibly the most important step, we're going to put the weight back on the back side. That way, next time we need to check calibration or perform calibration, everything is ready to go. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. Exit again. We'll be back to our start screen and ready to go. So now whichever assembly we have next, we have a couple 17.5s here we're going to uh, go through a balance on. But whichever assembly we have next, you guys are all set and ready to go. Thank you.